Hey everyone, back for the second time today for another contest. Uh, this one is Chris Profi, Musically Obsessed, Nifty 650 contest. So Chris just hit 650 subscribers, so he's got a contest going here. And uh, if you don't know his channel, it's uh, Chris Profi, P-R-O-P-F-E, Musically Obsessed. Uh, so he's got six questions here. And the, the first one is show the first and last album in your collection. So um, I do have bl country, blues, soundtracks, and compilations uh, separate from my A to Z, pop, rock, prog, metal, whatever. So I'm not going to include those, but my first one is um, 38 Special, Special Forces. Um, early on they just used the numbers I think they switched later on to actually spelling out 38 uh, but I'm not positive about that but either way so they were using the, the numbers at this time uh, my last album is Frank Zappa Bongo Fury don't have any Zappa on vinyl after this I have a lot on CD um so that's my last one for Z. Uh, next question. Show an album that is mostly blue on the cover. And I picked an album by a band called New England. This was their self-titled debut. Uh, it's produced by Paul Stanley of KISS. They opened up for KISS on part of the Dynasty Tour in 1979. I believe we're pretty big regionally in like the Detroit area. They had a minor hit, Don't Ever Want to Lose Ya. It's kind of standard uh, AOR hard rock. I don't have the, I believe they have three albums. I don't have the second and third one, but that's New England. Next question uh, Zeppelin or Deep Purple? That's a tough question because. Um, Purple sort of had a whole another career basically when they got back together on uh, Perfect Strangers in 1984. So I'm just going to judge it by the classic, say, uh, you know, 69 through uh, Come Taste the Band and then uh, Led Zeppelin's final album, which was In Through the Outdoor. So I'll judge it by that period. Um, it's a, it's a really tough choice, but I have to say that I'm going to pick Zeppelin because I just believe they have a... The time they were around, they have a perfect catalog, you know. Um, Deep Purple, they in that period, you know, just the classic period we were talking about, they did have a couple albums like Who Do You Think We Are and, you know, some of the first three that weren't, you know, stellar albums, whereas Led Zeppelin, every album, every track is... is pretty much almost a classic um can't really say that about purple i could see pe people picking purple though um but yeah my pick has, has got to be led zeppelin uh number four show your speakers so i'm gonna take my thing here and i don't know if you can see that right there those are uh, JBLs I got in the early 90s. Um, they sound good, they're loud, got a lot of bottom end, so I definitely don't need a subwoofer. Um, just refoamed them last year, so I've always, I've had them now almost, you know, like 27, 28 years, so they still do the job. Uh, two albums you are on your want list, and uh, I thought about this. And the two albums I really want are their first two Badlands albums, uh, Self-Titled and uh, Voodoo Highway. They came out in, uh, I think, 88, 89, and then like 91. Almost impossible to find on vinyl. They're like $100 albums, so I would even be happy with the CDs, which are even those are, are pretty hard to find. They're like $30, $40 each. Um, there's a reason why they're not ever been reissued uh, I won't get into that you can look it up in the internet but um, if I had to pick off the top of my head I've, I've I used to have those on cassette back in the day and uh, just never had gotten them on CD or vinyl but 
Last one. Uh, show a lesser known album by a well known artist. Uh, this was kind of tough because, um, you know, I would think most major artists or albums are somewhat well known. Maybe my by the general part by the fan, but I pick Sticks too because a lot of people are not aware that they had this whole. Uh, I think it had four or five albums before Tommy Shaw joined the band. Um, much more proggy, hard rock. This album's actually pretty good. Um, I don't know much other stuff besides this one, the pre-Tommy Shaw stuff, but I thought this was a pretty good album. Anyway, that's my questions. Um, if, like I said, if you're not subscribed to Chris's channel, please do so, and if you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you.